Hi everyone, welcome back to Half Acre Adventures. Uh, my name is Gord and we are out in the garden today doing a little bit of harvesting. It is mid-July, we finally got some sunny weather and it feels so good to get some heat and the garden is loving it. The bees are flying around, so let's go have a look at the garden. So I've got a couple helpers with me here today. You guys want to see what's in this one? What? Ooh. Nice. That one's orange on the top. Orange, yellow, white, and purple. Lots of different carrots. How's this one? Dad, put a mixture. Purple. 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 Nice. Look at this. <laughs> Here, you want to trim him up? So this is a blend of carrots. There's five different varieties, different colors. These are lots of fun. Here's our beets. Some of these are definitely ready. This grass needs a clipping. That one's big. Dad, this grass That's a good one, eh? And we want to eat the greens too, right? So we're not going to clip it off yet. So if you're I'm trying, trying to, to clip, clip that this thing off. off. Yeah, that's fine. You just put it into your bowl. I'm trying to clip this off of you, Daddy. All right, anything ready here? Mm. This is our squash. Kiwi, watermelon. Yeah. The peas are done. Beans are flowering, so they're not quite ready yet. We've got our acorn squash looking good, but not ready. How about fava beans? You guys know how to pick good fava beans? Yeah. Show me. You gotta feel well, if it's soft and it's squishy. Or squishy. I mean, hard. Hard, hard. If okay. they're hard. But if they're squishy, that means they're not ripe. That's right. The, the uh, beans inside aren't big enough yet, right? So find one and show me which is a good one. I found one that's hard. You find a good one, Rio? Mm hmm. Let's see. Yeah, so let's just bust it open. Okay, you can just use your hands, it's easiest. And see, look at that. That's huge. That's a nice one. So they're definitely ready. You can put that in your bowl. Okay. Okay, this is a huge one, Daddy. Oh! Wow. Candy shot. You can try it. So beside our fava beans, what do we have here, guys? Can I eat this? Yeah, if you want. This is chard. Swiss chard. Does it taste good? It's better than the thing that I like. I like it cooked. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you go ahead and, uh, and clip some, okay? We've got some peas in here that have survived the chickens somewhat <laughs> through the fence. And so there's still some peas. Yeah, here you go. Ooh. We've got our chard, and we've also got some uh, yellow bush beans that I've planted in here. And they're not going to be ready for another month or so, but we've got lots of time left in the summer. Ooh, found an ice cream. Ooh, nice big chard. Good job. I think I found another one. I'll chop the piece down. The kale is looking awesome. The kale has actually done really well with all this cool weather. I do a lot of stir fries. Uh, easy breakfast, easy lunch. And I just use kale and collards and um, I'll use these hemp leaves as well. They fry up really nice in the pan. And just a little bit of salt and an egg. And that's my favorite meal honestly in the summer. Nice, full bowl. All right, so similar to kale, we have, what's this, guys? Collards. Collards. Nice big leaves. These Whoa, have, these are huge. They collards. are huge. They're really healthy. These have done so well this year. It's been can cool and rainy. Can I snip wherever? You're right. You can snip them wherever. Ah, ah, and uh, <laughs> they survived the slugs early in the season, and they're just thriving. So this is our herb garden. Priya, why don't you cut a few of these, rosemary. And then Rio, there's some thyme here you can snip. This big bushy one, smell this. Put your hands through this and smell. Mm. 
Mmm. You know what? Yep. Just grab a handful and then put it in your bowl. We'll put it in the soup. This is sort of a mixed bag <laughs> bed where we put a bunch of different things in here and a few experiments. Uh, you can see we've got some eggplant and I don't know if it's going to do well enough uh, with the cool weather, but it's starting to flower and produce some fruit. We've got some perennial arugula in here. Nice big romaine. This romaine actually came from uh, the store and we cut the butt off and sprouted it. And we put this in the garden and it's actually done really well. Some of them didn't, most of them didn't. Uh, and this is a uh, celery butt we did the same thing with. Mm -hmm. Nice garlic. Let's see. Ooh. I got some garlic too. Garlic. Garlic. Oh, it's a rocket garlic. Rocket garlic. Yes, it's blasting out of the ground. It's blasting out of the ground. Who's in the other one? Hello, puppy. <laughs> oh, I'll give him some time. Bamboo. Two legs. Nice. So, as you can see, we're having lots of fun uh, and we're getting lots of great stuff out of our spring and summer crops. We're excited for the warmer weather and getting into the tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, that kind of thing, because uh, then it feels like the real bounty of summer harvest is there. Um, but in the meantime, we're also getting ready for the fall season and we have starts going for uh, cauliflower and purple spreading broccoli and into a fall harvest and the broccoli will actually overwinter uh, and we'll eat that next spring really early in the year. So we're excited for that, uh, always thinking sort of year round about how can we prepare for the next season's harvest. Uh, and let us know what you're growing uh, in the comments down below. We'd love to uh, hear from you guys and until next time, bye for now. Peace.